Hi guys, it's Joe again. So today we are going to break down each pose of the Sun Salutation A or the Surya Namaskara A. So if you're new to yoga, it's very important to know these poses because you'll be doing this probably in most of the class that you'll be attending. So all you need is your yoga mat and yourself. I'll see you on the mat. Okay, let's start. So let's stand up. Let's, I'll meet you at the top of your mats. Um, toes together and heels slightly apart or you can have your feet um, hip width apart, but I like mine with my toes together and my heels slightly apart. So first pose is the Tadasana or our mountain pose. So standing up, rooting down through the heels all the way up. Now remember not to lock your knees and then just standing, rolling the shoulders up, back and down. So your shoulders should be away from your ears and the palms are facing forward. Now this is an active pose because you'll see the difference of my Tadasana and just like, you know, standing. So I want everything active. Just look forward and that's your mountain pose. And then from here, we're gonna inhale, bring the hands up. Again, palm, palms may or may not touch. This is called Urdhva Hastasana. I'm gonna show you, so I'm gonna face you guys. I don't wanna see like tensed up shoulders. So just relax. Again, plugging your shoulders back to, your, back to the sockets. All right, so you can see the difference of doing this and just pulling it away from your ears. So from here, we're gonna fold forward. So there's two ways to enter. I like mine. Um, pressing the palms together and the others want uh, they do this as one dive so that's putting your hands out to the side so pick whatever you want anything is fine so from Urdhva Hastasana we fold forward from the hips and then as you can see I immediately bend my knees once I'm down because I have tight hamstrings so for those who have tight hamstrings Yes, you are allowed to bend your knees. And then just drop the head here. Taking one breath in and one breath out. Now from here, we're gonna do a halfway lift, fingertips down the mat. If that's not possible, you may rest your palms here on your shin bones. And then make sure that you have a straight back. And this is your next pose. And then from here, we're gonna plant our hands down on the mat. And then you're gonna step back. First, let's do a high plank before your chaturanga. Again, wrists in line with your shoulders. Core is engaged. And then from here, to enter your chaturanga, slightly shift the weight forward. Now, since this is for beginners, you may drop the knees and then drop the chest as well. So you may do the, a low cobra here, or if you want to do um, upward facing dog, the difference here is that your arms are straight, shoulders are open. And then from here you exhale to your downward facing dog. Now make sure your hands are spread open, spread wide, and then you're rooting down with it through the knuckles. Okay, so your hands are shoulder width apart while your feet are hip width apart. Again, for those who have tight hamstrings, feel free to slightly bend the knees and then just drop the head, gazing in between your thighs or towards your navel. And then from here, inhale, we're gonna step our feet in between our hands. Now you may do baby steps, that's fine. Or you bring your right foot in and then you help it with your right hand. And then the other foot follows straight into a flat back. Again, if you cannot reach the mats, rest your palms here on your shin bones. And then from here, we're gonna exhale, fold forward, drop the head 
And then inhale, come all the way up. Hands go up, back to your Udva Hastasana. And then exhale, hands by your heart center. And that's the full pose, that's the full round of sun, sun salutations. So when you're ready, let's do three full rounds of the sun salutations, eh? All right, I'll give you a few seconds. All right, so let's begin. Again, meeting at the top of our mats. Inhale, bring the hands up. And exhale, fold forward, dropping the head, bending the knees. Inhale, halfway lift, spine is straight. And exhale, plant the hands down, step back to your chaturanga. Slightly shift the weight forward. You may drop the knees and then bend, chest down on the floor for your low cobra or your upward facing dog. From here, exhale, bring the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, step your feet in between your hands to a halfway lift. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up, hands go up. And exhale, hands by your side for your Tadasana. Second round. Inhale, bring the hands up. And exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift, spine is straight. And exhale, plant the hands down. Step your feet back to your chaturanga. This is a full one. Inhale, bring the chest up. Upward facing dog. And exhale, bring the hips back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Step your feet in between your hands to a halfway lift. And exhale, folding forward. Inhale, come all the way up. Hands go up. And exhale, hands by heart center. Samastitihi. One more round, guys. Inhale, bring the hands up. Urva Hastasana. And exhale, folding forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, spine is straight, Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale, plant the hands down, step back to your Chaturanga Dandasana. Again, let's lower the knees and lower the chest. Inhale, lift the hands, oh sorry, lift the chest. Open the chest to your upward facing dog. And exhale, bring the hips up. Downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Step in between your hands to a halfway lift. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up. Hands go up. And exhale, hands by your center. So that's your full round of Sun Salutations A. I hope you got it this time and I'll see you again next time.